Spotify. That doesn't just go for Eminem, that goes for pretty much any team in Siege. But because of how well they use their information, it can be very difficult if uh, very difficult for them if you take that away. We are going to be jumping now into game straight away as we do face off Eminem versus Endgaming on Bank. First ban coming through is going to be Maverick. Not too much of a surprise there. We know how important the hatches can be on bank, not just necessarily for the bottom floor, but they are of use above as well. And Maverick opening up small holes in them can be an absolute nightmare because you don't always hear it. Jackal coming out as a ban there for Eminem. So what does that tell you? We've just spent a good five minutes discussing the strength of Eminem's roam game and how much success they've had on it lately. And they come out and ban the Jackal. That to me would be a big, big warning for end gaming as to what Eminem are going to try to do here echo now coming out as a ban for eminem final ban coming in for end is going to be the mirror not really too much of a surprise with those final two i totally agree the jackal ban that just tells me that eminem are confident in the drone ability on defense to be able to uh, you can even see it there in the chat sparrox there talking no five jackal tracks just for kenneth just for kendrew um so obviously aware of how eminem wants to try and play this and with no jackal it is going to be very easy indeed for the defenders on either side really to make rotations if they so wish and it'll ultimately come down to which team is more efficient at that Double hard breach is going to be brought from Eminem as our first defensive location is going to be lockers and CCTV room. I like the switch out onto the Kaid. I think that that could be very, very good indeed. Although maybe you would see Valkyrie staying in and switching out the Ella. I imagine Ella's going to play at the top of blue stairs, which really can burn a lot of time. But I think the information that Valkyrie provides could outweigh that. Yeah, I'd agree. I think if Kaid has value anywhere for protecting hatches, I think it is on this objective of bank. The entire uh, bottom floor of bank, so I'm talking about the layer of floor between sort of main lobby and the basement, that entire floor is hard. You can't breach any of it. Um, there's no vertical angles down into basement, so it means that all the hatches are safe from the potential of a thermite charge being placed next to them. So you're going to have to play Sibana or thermite charges directly on the hatch. There's no way around it. So Kaid then has his best opportunity of getting those tricked. That said, there is... Let's discount one thermite charge because you potentially want to get that server wall open for the default plant spot. You've still got four opportunities there at hatches on that top floor, so it is going to be tricky for Kaid to outplay all of them. But with no Thatcher, once they're applied to the hatch, there's not much that can be done unless you get yourself down first and start getting yourself a line of sight onto the underside of those hatches. So that could be a great pick. We're going to have to watch how it plays out for the time being. But I'm sure Dorkit moving in very, very quickly here. Only 30 seconds gone and he's found himself deep into sight and near, not in sight, sorry, deep into the map and underneath the skylight already with Citizen looking to put a challenge onto those blue stairs if necessary. Kendrew just out there on the drone, I think, um, before moving up to join them on the attack. So we're getting a ping now. It seems that they think there's somebody on blue stairs and they are certainly correct with somebody down at the bottom. We've seen a lot of utility to use there before the drones go in um so i'm not too sure about the timing of that one because look, you know ultimately the utilities been used and we're now gonna have to make almost a, a clean challenge onto the yellow but with the hatch being taken out panic's getting the first kill there dork will move in to refrag that but that was potentially a man that they didn't need to lose there to the yellow you know dumping in all of that utility and not following it up left the yellow of panics able to challenge but i'm sure they won't mind too much um it's the sledge that they've lost as i say not too much Soft destruction required on this one. Unfortunately, saves has dropped, and that is unfortunate timing for Eminem. Four versus three, one minute 30 to go. Default plant spot open. Doki now performing some drone work on Ash. Fortunately, saves has joined back, but Sloppy is going to find the headshot onto Doki, taking us to a four versus three in favour of End. I think Eminem have suffered a little bit of misfortune there with the disconnect. It's not something that they will have, you know, been happy with at that moment in time as they had just got a man advantage over onto End. Pre-fire shots coming down, and Citizen finds the head of Sloppy through the soft wall. Kendrew is going to be looking to start planting that diffuser. Citizen still watching on the main stairs. I'm not sure if the evil eyes are even aware that the plant is going down as it will go down without a hitch. 
Citizen now is allowed to play the hatch from up above in open area. Kendrew finds a kill onto Sparks. Citizen there just unfortunately getting a little bit stuck for him as Vorek does manage to close out that kill. Elation now pe peeking onto CCTV into uh, servers and he's going to put some toxic bay canisters out there. Just trying to give himself a little bit of cover and something to try and peek off. He's not got a very good job there with the SMG 11 as the recoil is punishing him. Kendrew finds one onto Elation. Two versus one now as Torok makes that a 1v1. Nello is the last man standing and I do believe he could be down in this situation. I didn't quite catch how he did manage to get himself down, but he's down nonetheless and the defenders will clutch that first round out. End game in there. are going to kick things off on bank with a win. How about the clutch from Torok there? Just the game sense to know that Nello is down. I don't know if he maybe saw him go down, but you don't get any point notifications in these competitive games. So he was certainly aware as he confidently got onto that diffuser to take it out. And how about those shots onto Kendrew just pre-firing around? How many times do we have to call that Alder, the clutch master, just pre-firing around the corner? getting the shots onto Kendra at the top of blue stairs and closing things out. Great plays there from End Gaming. It wasn't looking too great for them after that fantastic wall bang from Citizen just managed to get the kill on that B bomb site, but it wasn't enough and End just showed things up. You know, allowing the plant to go down, they still had a smoke on the board and at that point, you you know, it really is a surprise that those toxic babes weren't going out to be challenged but I think that Eminem had just managed to lock the angles down well and make it difficult to do that but the retake was good, excellent players for an end and we've certainly got a game. Moving in now to round number two, we are going to be looking at a tellers and archives. You can see there, not all too much going on on the scoreboard, as you would expect after one round. Two kills apiece for Kendra and Torok, and one apiece for Kendra, Dolphin, Sloppy, and Panics. In toward this round now. Oh, we are in fact going to be upstairs. Apologies for that. I couldn't see through the scoreboard. We are going to be upstairs in CEO, not downstairs at Tellers and Archives. So this bomb site really could favour End if they're able to keep good control of upstairs and establish their lines of sight. It could look pretty good for these guys, but Eminem have got the double threat of hard destruction. They might and Hibana are both going to be looking to try and get some pressure on opening up the CEO wall into square stairs. We've got Doki and maybe even Citizen as well that are going to be looking to rotate up onto north windows. Now, typically when we've seen this, we see saves playing in main lobby, just trying to cover off the angle and make sure that the guys on repel are going to be safe from any runouts. You see Doki just tentatively, he really doesn't want to commit himself to this North Repel all too much because you are a bit of a sitting duck if anybody is playing inside of Lobby. And that's really why both Doki and Citizen rely on Ke on the save, sorry, to be playing inside of Main Lobby and just making sure that that angle is being watched. ADS burnt off there, um, and that will be the final ADS charge burnt off by Citizen. Good game sense there from Eminem to know how many were remaining before that ash charge went in from Doki. Definitely not wanting to waste that. So that's opened up the line of sight through now, and I believe they must have seen a player possibly on a drone there. Doki is well aware of the end gaming player, just playing hard in that corner. He's just going to bide his time. He has absolutely no reason to move unless challenged, which he will be, but he will escape with his life and Sparks so will get that first kill opening things up with a headshot onto Doki and this is another good start to the round from end 1 minute 30 and no significant progress into the map for Eminem just yet sloppy with a kill of his own onto saves that's another of those fraggers gone 2 out of 3 citizen to go not to say that the other Eminem players can't pick up those kills but when they are then in a 2 versus 5 potentially that starts to be difficult but there is a long way yet to go panic just putting through the uh, the resuscitating dart onto Sloppy just to give him some more health back. And how about that from Sloppy getting these shots onto those Hibana charges to keep that wall closed before Panix picks up the kill on Tonello. This so far is clinical from end. Kendrew replying with a kill of his own onto Elation. 
So that will be Legion off the board. Citizen making his way up main stairs. I'm sure he's going to come to blows pretty soon with somebody. Kendra has now made his way into a bomb site, and he's kind of all alone here. I think the attention is largely being diverted. He does have the diffuser in hand, but no doubt End have got some sort of information as to his whereabouts. An exchange will ensue. Citizen now is left trying to pick up the pieces as Kendrew has been downed in the process. Citizen's going to have to look to try and take this one versus four on if he wants to try and clutch out the round, but bam, from behind the deployable shield, Torek is going to peek on out, and that's going to be the second round going over to end. So certainly not the start that a lot of us, I think, would have been expecting coming out from Eminem, just on the wrong end of some of those trades and just not being able to get that opening kill that really allows them, you know, a bit of an entrance into the building or the site. Bam, indeed. Um, absolutely excellent defence from end there. Um, you know, I, I'm not even going to try and, and say there was anything Eminem could have really done about it. You know, they, I think they knew the game plan. They knew exactly what Eminem were likely to do. I think they've probably been watching VODs. They've picked up on that north window attack and they dealt with it very, very well. I think Torok was maybe slightly fortunate just in his timing to get through that double window and escape with his life. Um, but that being said, they then took the advantage of Doki trying to move in for that kill and they've got the headshot onto him which is never an easy one to hit around those window frames so we're going to see end coming out with a very strong start here 2-0 on defense they are now going to be going to Taylor's archives which again is not a bad site at all three very very viable sites on this map and um, we're going to have Torok this time taking the Valkyrie so as I suggested I think Kaid was uh, you know largely a focus whilst they were down on the bottom floor with that hatch potential uh, but recognizing what you were discussing next about the value you of the information that you get from those Valkyrie camps. And on a map like Bank, there's just so many places to hide them. It, you don't often see teams bring in the IQ just because of how much there is to cover and there's so many long angles that the scanner of IQ is just sometimes not able to actually pick them all up as well. So it can be very difficult and almost a fruitless endeavour to try and actually deal with Valkyrie cameras on Bank and your best bet is just to try and keep an eye out in your drone whilst you're in the drone phase or to, you know, whilst you're droning try and keep your eye out as well and just look in a couple of the common spots but really, you're not going to expect to get all of them. And that's really where Valkyrie's true power comes through. Eminem needs to try and do something differently now. We've commented before, last game on Coastline, Saves had a really, really good matchup. I think he ended up with over 11 kills from memory, uh, and he did a fantastic job. We're only two rounds in, he's still sitting on zero kills. You're really going to be looking to saves, try and clutch up and to try and get some of those frags as he is an operator that they're looking toward four kills. I'm not saying that that's the reason why they are losing so far. I think a bit of an unfortunate circumstance in the first round. Despite saves having already died with the disconnect, it does remove him from being able to watch cameras and to you know try and give a bit of in, you know mid-round influence into how the round is playing out for his team. Any information he may have. We do have an early down onto Kendrew. C4 toss from below from Torek. And it is going to be be picked up at best on 20 health maybe not even picked up at all there must be some sort of valkyrie camera upstairs in those square stairs and that just goes to show how powerful the valkyrie cameras can be because having your thermite now on 20 health and also look at how much time it's taking don't forget we are attacking onto a tellers and archives objective and i mean ever taking the time about clearing out this top floor which is control that they are going to need if they're going to look to try and execute down onto the site Yep, and doing a very good job of what I suggested was, a, you know, a one way of beating the M&M attack is to disrupt what they want to do. Don't let them do what they want. Dorky moving in there with one kill onto Panics will miss his shots on the second, but Citizen will move in and get the kill onto Sparks or Sloppy. will trade that one with one back out onto Dorky and he gets another one onto Kendrew. So that's going to bring us to 3v3, but Sloppy will be down. So it's effectively three versus two with Citizen moving in and finishing things things off only 50 seconds remaining though it is plenty of time but they have not made any direct progress towards site they've only just taken top floor control they do however have citizen with those destructible grenades and they have saves on the sledge so they can really start opening up this floor as i was saying end doing a very good job they recognize that m, &M 
as a primary focus one to top floor so they're focused on using a utility and positioning to make that difficult for them to disrupt what they're gonna do and elation will pick up citizen as he moves across that single window because he's now forced by time to approach that saves taking the head off elation though two versus one ten seconds and this is anybody's torok lays in weight just moves a little bit too soon if he holds back there he gets the kill but giving away his position allows nello to move in and finish things off for Eminem. I've got to say that end gaming were a little bit unlucky there. I think what they did in the first half of that round was very, very good, and I really thought they might get some joy there. End gaming are recognizing how Eminem like to take these bomb sites. It's, we've we've seen Eminem play a lot over the past couple of days. Um, so we've seen him play a lot of bank, particularly. Seen him play it twice, and they're doing things that we've seen them do before. Now that's fine because you know you've got your strats and you've got your ideas and you've got the way that people like to try and take things. End have pretty well tuned into that, and they're thinking, you know what, we know how you want to try and take this. We know you're going to try and look to take as much control as you can in the first one minute and thirty, and then give yourself enough time to execute onto the site. Eminem took a lot of control, but it was 50 seconds in a 3v3 by the time that they were looking to pressure down onto the site after taking that top floor control and doing as much as they could with it. End of it very well placed here, and going back downstairs to lockers, I think that this could be another round going in their favour. They're playing very well as a team, and they're really making Eminem work for every single one of these kills. Some of the early aggression that we're seeing coming out from End is good as well. Nice C4 toss last round. Could have been the differentiating factor between them winning and losing that round. If it had been a little bit more on its mark, it might have actually uh, put Kendrew out of the game instead of just taking him into a down but not out state. And that could have been very influential in how that round played out. So, as you say, really could have gone the end's way. I think looking toward this round now, we could see a bit of a different Eminem. Are they going to try and really speed things up and say, look, we need to take a bit more control over this? We did see him rush garage on the weekend. Is that something you think we're going to see, Tim? A nice, really aggressive garage rush? I don't think we'll see a garage rush, I'll be honest. Um, are we going to see more aggression from Eminem? Yes, I think so. Um, because I think they're going to recognise like, that last round particularly. It was one minute before they were really challenging people on that top floor. And again, that's playing into end's hands because what they wanted to do there is waste time and they were very successful in doing so. Yorke already moving in through those front doors. Less than 30 seconds gone and he's going to be looking to move further into the map. He does just get a slight peek on that Roma upstairs there and will get the kill onto sloppy so as we suggested a much more energetic start here from Doki getting in firing things up and taking that Jaeger off the board and how about that for a pixel peek on the drone just seeing him move across those double windows I'm pretty sure there will have already been some information from elsewhere from his teammates but very good and it looks like very quickly this time they have taken the top floor control that they need and they're now moving down towards site and I tell you what two minutes is an awfully long time to try and turtle yourself up on site when you've got gunners like Citizen Saves and Dorky approaching. He will flash himself, however, and have to move himself <laughs> back out. That's just going to slow things down a little bit. Um, I'm sure that wasn't part of the plan, but it's not going to hinder him too much. He doesn't lose any life or anything. He's just going to check garage, recognise there's nobody down there. He has just missed, potentially, the operator playing out towards the elevators, but he will find him now, I think. Citizen getting two kills, Sparks and Panic. One minute 30 to go, and Eminem making much better progress elation find themselves over inside a goal vault and torek inside of the elevator so as you suggest tim really trying to turtle things up for this final minute and 20 seconds nello is going to be opening it up onto the wall into service and i'm sure that we're going to try and see a plant attempted anytime soon not sure why nello is using the excaros there as opposed to kendra using the thermite charge challenge is going to come out from doki he is going to grab that one onto torek 5v1, Nello closing things out. Flawless round coming through for Eminem Gaming. I think that's a bit more what they maybe had in mind for the first time that they attacked onto that objective. Yep, absolutely agree. Basically, just forgone the hatches, not really worried about those. They know that there's a likelihood that Kaid's going to be brought again playing on that down floor site. So let's just get pushing down the stairs, get into server, get a nice pinch coming down past elevators there. That was a really nice attack from Eminem. Um, end gaming, I think, you know, just need to brush that one off let's move on i think it's a good thing that they've changed site they've just lost that one heavily get themselves back up to ceo where they won very well last time so they can try and continue that disruption that they've been sort of so successful with previously i think the problem there if you look at the difference between round three and round four 
Round three, they played three men on top floor, and it took Eminem a minute and a half to two minutes to clear them out. They did end up winning the round, but the Rome was much more successful in restricting Eminem and forcing them to rush towards the end of the round, and it nearly paid dividends. On that round, we saw Sloppy, I think it was, on the Jaeger, off on the Rome on his own, and within 30 seconds, he'd been drawn out and killed, and that's the danger. You cannot play Romers out on your own against Eminem at the minute, because as you've said, their information is on point and they're clearing people out very well and as soon as they had that control it was then just like a free for all getting down onto site so I think even though it's a risk if you're playing bottom floor to only have maybe two on site three at a push um, you need at least two people out on the roam if you're going to successfully roam against them and I don't think I could have put that much better myself. I would totally agree with what you say. And uh, I was a little bit dubious about Doki droning himself in. And I was kind of like, mm, Ash droning himself in. You kind of should have someone droning in for you. But I don't think that somebody else would have actually seen that little bit of information that he was able to gain. Bit of an unfortunate drone toss there coming out from Doki as well. And that could really cost him. He's now, gonna have to for He's now forced to work off not a lot of information at all. He's certainly working on his window play though. You can see through his movement. That he is, uh, you know, taking the comments that we have. We've seen some people throwing a bit of shade towards Doki and his ability to play Windows. He's obviously trying to work on that a little bit, which he's doing very well. You can see Nigel burning these ADSs. Saves there with a grenade, cooked and ready, but Torek is going to take him out. So saves and citizens swapping roles this time, and I think that that's probably to get the frag grenades over on the windows. Citizen, you can see down in main lobby, just watching the repel, making sure that everyone's going to be safe and safe they will as Doki finds the headshot onto Torek. That's enough for him. He's got the man count back down to one all, and no less than the maestro taken off the board. So if those evil eyes aren't turned correctly, they will be of no use at all to the players remaining on end. Great play from Doki on the window there, but again, I'm just not too sure about Eminem pushing the north windows. They've had success with it in previously playing bank, but it's obviously something that end gaming were prepared for. You can see they've set up here, they've got themselves a deployable shield. They're expecting that north window push, and Eminem have sort of played into the hands a little bit with that, and they lost saves to it. That said, Doki did open things up with a nice kill as well, so it's we're going to have to see how the rest of this round plays out as to whether they have any success. Lofty just allowing those Hibana pellets to detonate there, which I'm a little bit surprised at. He did shoot them off previously. Panic's getting the kill onto Nello, and I think that probably answers the question as to why those Hibana pellets have been left alone for that period of time. I don't think that they wanted to disrupt Nello because they had a plan to deal with him, and deal with him they did. Panic's, however, will be dealt with by Doki. Sloppy moving in with a kill onto Kendrew, so that leaves us two versus two now. 40 seconds to go. Doki retrieves the diffuser, but will lose his line to sloppy so two versus one and end gaming just need to play play this out and i feel like from the beginning of this round it's another one of those rounds where they've correctly predicted what eminem wanted to do and they've set themselves up to stop that happening and there you go they close out the round loppy finding a cheeky prone kill there onto citizen citizen just pre-aiming around the corner a little bit higher than sloppy was sitting and well like you say, another good round going toward end game. And I think moving into this fixture, we were all expecting it to be going all the way of Eminem. But End is showing us that they are here to fight. And fight they will. 3-2 to two now in favour of End. And on their last defensive round, I'm sure that they're going to look to make this 4-2. to two, Which would be pretty serious coming out of bank at a 4-2 to two advantage on your defensive phase. Are we going to see the clash? Oh, excuse me. We're going to see the clash actually picked through. We are, as Maestro is swapped over for Cade. Yeah, they've definitely got to do something down in lockers. They lost it heavily last time, and it was to speed. It was to aggression. So bringing a clash, she is an operator that can definitely slow things down and um, depending how you use it and where particularly um you know if you've got two options here you could use it in the server area to try and slow down a blue stairs push to stop people getting in there and opening that area up or potentially you use her around the garage main stairs area that we're looking at there um with a potential just sort of at the bottom left of your screen there use her around there to try and slow down any push towards elevators but that said using clash 
on here is fraught with danger because coming through into servers, you've got two options of coming in there. You've got blue stairs, you've got the dirt tunnel. Playing around the garage area, you've got garage, you've got main stairs. So, and there's hatches at both of those as well. So, definitely something that you've got to do carefully, but has the potential of slowing things down. You can see that they're playing panics on the blue stairs again, and Clash looks like he'll be there to join or trade out with panics possibly dropping back into sight. I do quite like the clash pick because it is going to allow them to play that blue stairs for a little bit longer. We've seen how Eminem are able to deal with that blue stairs. And basically all they do is just throw everything they've got at it, including the kitchen sink. And it usually does the job to burn the ADSs. Frag grenade usually comes through as well. And a bit of pressure going in from dirt tunnel to boot. Usually deals with that player on the top of blue stairs fairly effectively. But if that player is going to be a clash with a shield, it's going to make things a lot more difficult indeed. And you can see Doki now just making a bit of a rotation. I'm not sure if this is all part of the plan or if this is based off the fact that clash is overplaying by blue. And if Eminem are just going to forego that control and are going to say, look, we're going to have to try and push through office instead. Saves is going to be left to open up the angle onto the top of blue whilst any ADSs are destroyed by Kendrew. And he's no doubt going to look to get some frag grenades through there and to try and deal with that clash because clashing a 1v1 isn't something that you want to be dealing with. No, nope, Clash should be winning that engagement every single time if it gets down to one versus one. But how perfectly is Clash doing the job here that Endgaming wants a Clash to do? As I said, they've recognised the last time this objective was assaulted, they lost through speed and aggression. So they've brought out the perfect operator to slow that down. And that is exactly what has happened. One minute, 20 to go and no real progress towards sight. We've still got panics watching those blue stairs. Elation will come out with a kill. Citizen will get one back for Eminem, so that now leaves us four versus four. Citizen is extremely damaged though. Torok will get the kill on to Doki. We've got Clash just watching Citizen, aware of his position, and more importantly, the diffuser safe starts dumping some nades down into sight and will get a kill. Elation with one back onto Citizen. And so now this is three versus two and it is playing out in Endgaming's favour. They haven't dealt with the Clash yet. They now don't have the Operator to deal with Clash with Citizen being taken off the board. And things are going to get difficult now. We're just working in from the garage side there. We'll put some shots towards Panics but won't manage to land any Panics. He's just going to play this sensible and keep himself behind that wall. And we can see the Clash there just moving out and just getting that information. Feeding it back in. Elation with a kill onto Saves. Panics finishes things off with the kill on to Nello and that will be 4-2 in favour of Hen and who saw it going this way I love 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 the clash pick on that last defensive round I think they read into the way that Eminem were going to play it perfectly Eminem being a team that are very set in the operators that they take on both attack and defence and just didn't have anything to deal with that clash with the way that End were supporting the clash as well that was the most important thing the way that clash was supported with the ADSs etc that was something that really really worked out in End's favour and a great heads up play for them bit of a pocket strat to be able to pull the clash out and clutch it up around but it did the business and it, they were going to be very happy with that indeed I am sure Eminem have got a bit of an uphill battle here. They've only got a couple of rounds to play with until it could, they could only guarantee a draw, which I know after their performances last week, they're really not going to be looking at that. And the Kaid pick there has been read into perfectly by end. And Sloppy is going to six pick over onto the Thatcher, which is going to make opening any hatches a heck of a lot easier. You can see the scoreboard there. Doki and Citizen doing the best on six kills apiece, but five deaths as well. Kendrew, Nello and Saves, 3-3 three, three, and 2 respectively. Sloppy, Torak, Panic, 7-5-5 five, five, and 4-4 four, four, Panics. Oh, sorry, 4 for Elation, I think, and 1 for Panics. So, good spread of kills there on both sides. And I think that with the way that it's been going, unless Eminem are able to show us something different on defense, we could be seeing Endgame and picking up the victory tonight. So I'm struggling to hear Ace. I can see him talking on the camera, but I can't hear his beautiful voice. So I'm just going to continue to take over for the time being until he gets himself sorted out. Panics is going to be spawning over at main entrance, just looking to progress on to Garage, taking away all of the default cams that he can find. 
as that is going to deny Eminem a lot of information. I don't think we're going to have anybody roaming too heavily. Often we see saves play in the top of main stairs for the first couple of seconds of the round just to gather a little bit of information and then retreating on back into sight. As is kind of typical with any team that does defend onto this objective, you can defend it with some roamers, but often the time is, you know, those bodies are better spent on the site and, you know, for when those uh, last few second engagements come through. Yep, uh, I think my mic was just caught in a little mute jammer there in my room. Uh, <laughs> something something was going on, I'm not really sure what. Um, so, two minutes left to go, and I, what I was saying is I like what End have been doing. I think they've really shut Eminem down here. Um, they've they've predicted what they're going to do very well and they've set their stall out to deal with that um, and largely speaking it has worked for them i like uh, totally agree with you on the thatcher pick x uh, it always bugs me a little bit when people will bring an operator like Kaid themselves to this site to play on the hatches and do a good job of it and then get onto attack and not bring a thatcher uh, and i just think like you know what are you doing you've used this method yourself and you're not even considering it as a possibility against you and even if there isn't a Kaid on there let's be honest Thatcher's not a bad operator those can clear out goo mines ADS's you know he's super powerful he's got a good gun he's got great options so he's never a loss to bring in so again good players from end and they really are adapting well and playing this one sort of perfectly they've got themselves good server control now they're going to get the thermite onto that wall and start opening up the default plant spot they've got a minute they've got all the time in the world the toxic babes are coming out already to prevent access to that site that's at least one used i'm not sure if nello's used anymore he's throwing them all the way from back in b um, which again can be a little risky because it makes it a more difficult throw and if you miss it and that diffuser is going down that can be all it takes but as we can see no surprise from Nello the site master uh, just hitting those long throws from all the way back but he only has one left 30 seconds he cannot deny this plant himself and no echo on the board with the ban maestro is a difficult one to completely deny a plant with. He is down in garage and he is going to get drawn out. That's the one thing that end gaming haven't done this round is they haven't really put themselves in a position to get any kills. However, the plant will start going down. Torok will back out. I think he was just baiting out utility there. The C4 coming from the Valkyrie. We're going to see a flurry of kills now that go in favour. Three to one of end gaming. So that is going to leave us now three versus two after that kill comes in. Doki looks like he's down. He's going to be picked up now. That leaves Kendrew to be downed in exchange. Doki now just on 20 health. Knows that he cannot risk the pickup. He has to go for the kills. He's not going to get the kills. We lost Citizen in there somewhere at a point as well. And that is a good first attacking round from end. Eminem really looking like they're starting to struggle here. Not many ideas of how to disrupt this end gaming roster at the minute. End do seem to be holding all the cards. Doki has since returned as well. So I'm not sure what it is that's going on with this game tonight. We do seem to have a lot of players dipping in and out. But we have got a full 10 players in the game right now. So we are going to be able to continue. Eminem really, really struggling. It didn't look... They looked at no point like they were in control of that round. And I'm not quite sure how that seemed to transpire because... They just didn't have an answer for anything really that was happening. We're going to see a bit of an operator switch around here as Kendry now moves over onto the Maestro and Doki picks up the Ella. I'd be interested to know if he has the shotgun and if he's going to look to try and play Blue Stairs because we do know that that is something that can, you know, can... If you can hold on to blue stairs for a couple of seconds, you can really start to slow down the push. You're never usually successful. You'll at best take one or two with you, but... Eminem needs to try something different there because at this point, they're looking like they're going to guarantee themselves a draw at best. If N take this round, they're going to be very well placed to take the whole thing. I'll tell you what, if N is smart here, they push garage and elevators. Um, I think, as you say, Emma, it's like almost, you, it's like chess, you know, it's like getting three, four steps ahead. If they can predict that Eminem are predicting another Blue Stairs push after the success of the last one, um, then, you know, again, I think that's got some real value. So for me, get it, you know, potentially get your drones in, see what's happening inside. 
but definitely consider getting into that backside, opening up the open area hatches, getting yourself in through elevators, getting yourself in through garage, and I think you're probably going to catch M&M without a lot of utility on that side. Like you say, it's going to be deployed over by blue stairs to try and prevent that server rush that they suffered to last time. That said, it's easy to say sitting here and they could well do that and lose everybody to it, but I just think I'd, it'd be a slick move at this point from end, I think, to go from that side. It's almost a free kill onto the Maestro or the Echo that's playing inside a garage. It's usually one of the two that plays inside of there. In this circumstance, it's going to be the Maestro, it's going to be Kendry playing it. It's almost a free kill onto that operator at that point if you do try and heavily push garage because the likelihood is that they're doing some sort of late setup with the cameras, just fine-tuning positioning. And it's not somewhere that often does get pushed. Usually you will have a camera looking out onto garage so as not to get rushed from there. But it doesn't always work like that, as we all know. And it can be a good way of grabbing a quick kill. As it stands, it looks as though we're going to go for a typical take from end as they are going to be opening up the server hatch and just getting some drone work done down at blue stairs so it doesn't look like dog has played on the blue stairs at all with ella which is a little bit unusual that's maybe somewhere that you would have expected to see him playing with that operator you see panics there is going to eat one of the grismot mines and that's not going to have a full effect as obviously Zephyr does take less effect for Ella Mines and Zephyr, oh, sorry, and Ella takes less effect onto the concussive grenades of Zephyr, so a little bit of lore there, but Citizen is well placed on Vault, just peeking on into the rotation, he's got a C4, he's probably going to get cut off on the rotate now by Sparrox from the hatch above, and I know that we've spoken about not having roamers on bank and when you're playing downstairs, and it can work out for you if you've got well-established angles in the final few seconds. But look at how free Sparrox is here just to play whatever he wants. He can put both of his asphyxiating bolts down. He's even had Zafia open up the hole so that it's a little bit larger for it to go through. Smoke now comes through as the fire grenades go onto where Citizen is playing. That's going to stop him from being able to push through and get the Nitro Cell kill. Single tap fire shots coming through from Kendry, but it is going to be, I think, Nello that's saving the day with the smoke canisters and just staving off that attack for the time being. Saves over inside of elevators, just watching onto the hatch drops as another attempted plank comes down. But look at the perfect smoke canister there from Nello. 20 seconds left on the clock, and it's going to be down to end to try and get this diffuse down because Eminem are playing this much better and they're not giving anything away still 10 members on the board no kendry finds his first one onto sloppy the diffuser will start to go down now for a second time kendry and says both coming out with kills five versus two and it's going to be a flawless round oh no it's not almost a flawless round for eminem gaming if saves i didn't have killed nello then it would have been a flawless round indeed but what a much better round there coming out from eminem gaming they did a great job of staving off that attack for as long as humanly possible Bloodlust just kicking him for saves there and there was no stopping him as he shot anybody who was in his way taking Nello down but I'm sure he won't mind as Eminem pick up the round there and I think that just goes to show what I was saying there um, they were Eminem were prepared for the push from that side I love the angle that Kendrew had all the way in from Garage and he was just taking those single tap shots with the LMG the Alder um, just to prevent that plant being able to go down uh, great players from him in order to do that um what a play from Sparks on the hatch with Capito. How about that for a use of utility? Like you say, getting the asphyxiating bolt down, getting the smoke arrow down, just to try and create a situation where they could plant. But, you know, Eminem weren't phased by that. But for any aspiring Capito players out there, that was a great example of use for his utility um, and how to, you know, mix it up and use it in different areas to create safe spaces. Very, very good. But ultimately, I think Eminem were ready for that push. And that's why I suggested End might have just had a little bit more joy pushing from the other side, even if it was with two or three just to take Eminem's focus away and draw them away from that blue stairs defense. Eminem had multiple ideas and multiple options of how they wanted to hold that. You speak about Sparkso's work there and he did a great job from the hatch. The Capital worked perfectly. I love how he used it to really cut off the ability for anyone on Eminem to be able to throw that C4. But they'd already figured that out because Nello was already way back in the other bomb site, able to throw toxic bays to within a pixel precision. What about that for an early show of aggression? Kendrew there coming out 
and grabbing the killer all the way onto someone who just come up onto garage uh, car park. It's just to the left of the screen on uh, just the observers just cutting it off there. There you can see just the score mark there. Just come up the ladder as Kendrew managed to find his head. And that's going to be what Eminem need at this moment in time. A good show of early aggression. Just keeping conscious of the angles that are possible. And who better to have on an ACOG than Kendrew to find that headshot. Absolutely, as you say, Eminem just needing that bit of early aggression, put the man count in their favour, and again, just stop End's momentum. That's been something that's been important for End, but also end up in predicting Eminem very well. But I think that last round maybe just signals a little bit of a change there because they still made that same push on Blue Stairs and ultimately were punished for it. We've got Citizen in main lobby now. Going to take a challenge onto Sparkso, possibly. Out comes the grenade, but Sparkso will get a key kill meanwhile onto Kendrew. Citizen will trade that out i'm not sure sparks or knew that he was there however we have a player just nipping out of tellers elation getting the kill on to citizen and we are on an absolute flurry of kills here as slop it moves in and gets the kill onto dorky saves and nello really have it all to do here let's not forget if end gaming take this round it guarantees them a draw and restricts eminem to the maximum of one point and i'll be honest if end gets a 6-3 i'm not sure that even one point is going to be is going to be realistic for eminem here I think just caught sight there. Sloppy of the Eminem player just in corridor. I think it's maybe Nello on the uh, the lesion, but I'm not sure. I can't just quite get a good view of his outline to see who that is that's in there. But he has certainly backed away now, knowing that somebody is on the repel. It was actually saved, so we can see there a nice view of Thermite just getting in and starting to get that north side wall open. And I'm sure the south side will follow fairly soon as well. One minute to go. Pressure building on site. Nello and saves have it all to do. Nello not really wanting to move around all too much. He's located in a very tight corner inside of Janitor's. He's well placed to start getting some kills, but he's going to have to buy his time if he wishes to do so. Saves, however, far more out in the open. He knows that there's somebody playing out on North Repel, and he really doesn't want to overexpose himself all too much. Pressure also going to be coming in from site. As Nello makes that call and gets wall banged by Sloppy. Now saves really does have it all to do in a one versus three to keep his team within the hopes of a win. If not, it is going to be a draw at best, however, and he will get found by Sloppy. Headshot there coming through. And that is going to be a round for end game. A much needed round as well as they do now guarantee themselves the draw. And like you say, I'm pretty sure they're going to go all the way and grab the win here. Eminem just getting dragged into engagements that they really didn't need to be getting into. Citizen and Kendrew did a pretty average job at clearing out the Capital that was playing, I believe it was Sparkso, in, uh, in, inside a lobby. Citizen then got traded out straight away after Sparks got the kill onto Kendrew. And the kills just started to trade from there on in. End were really well positioned to get kills in that scenario because they had so much, you know, so much pressure from different angles and so many different crossfires that Eminem just really got far too dragged into that kind of a kill fest. And that's really where the round was won or lost. It was offside. There was no real positional advantage for any of the players of Eminem to be playing down there. And it was just a little bit of a shame for them because we've seen them play much better than that but it just seemed as though they were after the kills and they were trying desperately to make something happen because to, to this point end have just had all the answers yep excellent players another good round from end there like you say they have had all the answers and like you say just just a really unusually sort of moderate job done of like you say clearing out that capite was a very very good example um of just a lack of aggression i think normally i'd I just think on a different day, Citizen just like runs in there and guns him probably before he even gets the kill onto Kendrew. It's just, you know, he, he played it a bit more tentatively through the impact made him. And whilst that was happening, they've lost the man. So, and then that also gave Elation time to move in. You know, if you're more aggressive on that peak, go in there, you probably save Kendrew dying. And by the time Elation's moved through Tellers, you're ready to make a challenge there as well. So um, just catching him on the back foot a little bit, I think. Um, and you can see here, Endgame in very, very aware of all those peaks after Kendrew 
managed to get himself a nice early pick last time onto the garage roof. So something that End Gaming are now more than aware of. We're going to see Panics getting himself up onto an early repel on the main lobby windows, just off to the east side there to see if he can pick up anybody on the balconies, but he won't. They're obviously very aware of those peaks coming out onto them on the repel this time and trying to ensure that that doesn't happen. The drones are going to start making the way in now so they can see whereabouts M&M are set up and it looks at the minute um, from those silhouettes to me like Eminem are largely taking this back to a turtle defence. They've been losing the Romans quite early in the round and quite significantly so it looks like they've just made the decision to try and slow down the pace of things. We've got one minute gone, still five men on the board. Citizen has taken some damage but has still got his life and I think Eminem just want to force Endgaming to make something happen rather than giving them a situation where they can take advantage of Eminem's mistakes. It shows good, good adaptation because in the previous round, as we've said, Eminem really got dragged into gunfights that they had no business being in. We're now at past the midway point of the round. We've still got five operators left on either side. The wall will start to be open now. I believe, yep, Torret there is just getting the wall open. Kendrew situated inside of meeting room. Nello inside of janitors as well. Still trying to find this pixel peak, but I'm not sure it's going to come. Quick kill gets traded through there. Nello takes out Sloppy. Torok trades him straight back out. And that is going to be a trade out for Saves, sorry, not Nello. So Saves still struggling just a little bit. Citizen at the bottom of blue stairs. He's going to be well positioned in this round to get a late flank off. Oh, Elation must be working off some sort of information there. Manages to find the kill onto Citizen with ease. Threading the eye of a needle there through the balustrade. And that's going to allow Spark so now to just put a bit more pressure onto the windows as the remaining players on site for Eminem are going to be getting very uncomfortable as another side of the wall is going to get opened up as well. Long line of sight now all the way through. Shots will come in. Panics position top of main stairs. Grabs one onto Doki. Four versus two now. It's got to be looking good for End to close this one out as a victory. Nello and Kendry, the last two alive. Nello getting cut off by an asphyxiating ball on the rotate. Elation grabbing that one. Kendry now in a one versus three. He finds his first onto Panics. The plant will start to go down under the cover of the smoke. But it's going to be Elation who finds the final kill. And what a game for End Gaming. Clutching that victory out on buying. Well deserved win indeed. I tell you what, what a good job End did of approaching site there. I felt uncomfortable sat here at home, let alone Eminem being sat on site. They just made it so... They, they, they couldn't move anywhere in site. They had Zafia down at the double door. They had the north and south side of the walls open at Skylight. They just absolutely made it impossible to move anywhere in site, which when you're facing a turtle defence, that is exactly what you need to do because at that point, the defenders end up pinned in place and that is what end did very very well there yeah ceo it isn't a site that you can turtle on there's just too many angles of opportunity for the attackers you've got so much repel potential north repel over on side of garage and that's not something that can be very you know readily stopped turtle defenses suit themselves to ground floor objectives and m, &M really really suffered i guess that they did have citizen playing off site but he got picked off very very easily indeed so that will conclude our final game of the evening and I think that uh, we might just run through some of the standings just so that everybody can have a good idea of how the games have settled on this evening. But I've had a lot of fun casting this one. I know it's been a little bit, um, I know it's been a bit here, there and everywhere. We started off with Demo. Now we've got Tim in, now we've got Ace in. Uh, but I hope that you've all enjoyed it and thank you all very much for sticking with it. It is very much appreciated. Yep, I've certainly enjoyed jumping in X. Um, it's always fun after I got settled uh, <laughs> partway through that course line game. Um, but yep, those last two have been absolute crackers to watch. Um, we can tell you, not necessarily the final standings, because I think we've still got the Trust Supremacy game. It's If not going on, um, it certainly hasn't been updated just as of yet. But everything else has. We've got Vitality. Top of the Pops up there in number one. Six points clear of Eminem now. Um, we've got Ghost Killer in third. Trust in in fourth, Supremacy fifth, Extreme in sixth after that great win that they had against Pact. And then we'll have Endgaming um, followed by Pact propping up the table at the minute. Uh, certainly some points required for Pact if they want to make any sort of challenge towards pushing, pushing themselves up to a more respectable position. 
Yeah, I'd have to agree. Um, it's been a difficult ride so far for Pact in, in their season. And I think they're going to be doing, you know, they're still learning as a team and they're still figuring things out. Um, very good experience to be able to go against teams of this calibre and to and to gain that experience and to gain that sort of, you know, professional game time. Um, but like you say, like and, and we can see in the score, the results just lacking a little bit indeed. Uh, we are going to run through the scores that we have had in the games that have already been 